Hello traders, today's top stories, investors will be nervous as U.S. markets open. Washington, D.C. will remain the biggest dynamic today. It is Monday, March 27th, and here is our New York review. Wall Street is showing the potential of more selling when the major indexes open for trading. Futures markets are showing significant pressure on equities. There will be no major economic data from the states today. FOMC members will be speaking and investors will examine their speeches. However, the impetus for the broad markets remains Washington, D.C. and the prospect of potential gridlock on the congressional floor. President Trump's attempt to push through his health care bill has failed up to this point, and this sets up the dynamic for worries among investors regarding other proposals, like changes to corporate tax laws. Wall Street remains within its higher boundaries, but trading sentiment will be fragile as investors begin their day in the States. Japanese equities tumbled hard as this week of trading opened. The Nikkei and Topic saw a heavy trading developed early this morning, and their declines continued as their respective exchanges closed. The Shanghai Shenzhen and Hang Seng also saw pressure. Investor sentiment has become increasingly nervous in Asia, and the yen has experienced safe haven buying. On Wednesday, retail sales figures will come from Japan. However, Asian traders will stay U.S.-centric these next few days. European equities have opened with sharp losses. The FTSE and DAX are under early pressure. A German business climate reading published this morning, however, produced a better than expected result. The euro remains near import resistance against the US dollars. It continues to test its renewed strength. Economic data the remainder of the day from the EU and UK will be very light, but investors are also factoring in Wednesday's trigger date for the Brexit. The value of gold has increased once again today as traders have gravitated into the precious metal on the heels of better economic data from Europe and the advent of heightened safe haven positioning. Gold is likely to stay volatile today and tomorrow. Investors will have two speeches from Federal Reserve members to examine today. The first will come from Charles Evans at 515 GMT. Thank you for watching. Have a great trading day. We'll see you again soon.